Hello everyone, so this is my, I want to say fifth or sixth attempt at filming this video because it just has not gone to plan the other load of times that I've tried to film it. Um, so this is like my last shot at <laughs> trying to film this video because I'm about to lose it. Um, excuse the weird light, I'm filming this with natural light and it is 4 o'clock in the afternoon so the sun is like full beam in my room. It's also a good thing that it's taken me so long because over the past month <laughs> I have also bought a load of other things that I thought I might as well show you in this video today as well. I'll start off with the oldest things I've bought up to the newest things and at the end I will also show you the new tattoos I have got as well because I've actually never spoken about my tattoos, I don't think, properly on my channel, so I thought I'd just add that in as well. If you would like to see what I have bought over the past month, just keep watching. So I'm going to start off with the main thing, which is Primark. This was originally just supposed to be a Primark haul, until everything else got involved. So I'm going to show you what I got from Primark, and then I'll show you what I got from Superdrug, because I got them on the same day. The first thing I got was this cushion. Um, I saw this the last time I went in Primark a few months ago, back when I bought the bedding, whenever that previous Primark haul was, and I saw this and I really liked it but I didn't get it, and this time I decided to get it because I didn't know when I was next going to see it, and I just really love the gold and the green, it's like a really nice emerald green, it's not like in your face green, it was £7. I also bought another cushion, which was this friend's cushion. It's got central perk on the front and then I guess you could also have it this way as well and it just has friends, the television show on or the television series on the back of it. This was £5. Next I got two pairs of these jeans because my black jeans were no longer black and also one ripped right up the middle of the thigh and the other one were ripped jeans and they just covered like the whole of my knee so they were no longer like subtle ripped jeans they were just disgusting so I bought some more plain black jeans I bought two pairs of these they're super skinny and they are high-waisted and they are so comfortable I got these in a size 12 and they were nine pounds I did also get a uh, I got two long sleeve um, cotton tops because I needed them for work because underneath my polo shirt I needed something to cover my arm because I get so cold at work even with a jacket on so I just needed something to cover my arms. Um, I think they were, I want to say 350 something like that. They weren't too expensive um, but I did also get two of them but they are both in the wash so I can't really show you them at the moment. I did also get a pair of pyjama bottoms, they just had the Pringles logo on it. Again, I've worn them, um, I've worn them I should say. They had like the tight um, bit at the bottom but as I wore it it kind of stretched out so that is a little bit of a downside to them but I mean they're pyjama bottoms so like there's no, it's not really a big deal. I bought quite a few pairs of pyjama bottoms from Primark because I just really wanted to get some more. These, I'm not actually sure whether I will wear these as pyjama bottoms, I might just wear these like out because I really like them. But they're these plain black cotton um, trousers, they've got my two favourite colour striped down the side which is red and yellow and it's just got Mickey Mouse written along the top and a little Mickey Mouse logo as well. These are really soft and I really like these and I actually might just keep them to wear out. Um, I got these in a medium and they were £8. Other pair of pyjama bottoms I got were these friends one. Again they've got central perk written on them and they've got little roses and they've got the little tight um, tracksuit type bottom. These were, I think they were also £8. Can't remember, where's the price? Here. Yep, they were also £8 and I got them in a medium as well. And lastly, I got this yellow Mickey Mouse jumper. It's super soft and it's got that really soft fleecy material on the inside. 
Um, I got this in an extra large because I wanted something really, really baggy and comfy for the winter. Or even now, to be honest, because I keep getting cold. And as you can see, it's literally just got Mickey Mouse on the front, um, a picture of him and the words. And this was £8. The next things I have to show you are from Superdrug. So, show you this first. I got some more pore strips. Um, I love these Bior charcoal pore strips. Because no matter what scrubs I use, I just have to have a mask to peel off of my nose, which sounds so gross. But just to get the stuff out, I've already used most of these. You get six, and I think I've only got like two left. Yep, used these up <laughs> pretty quickly. Um, and I couldn't find the charcoal ones in um, Asda's that were near me, so I just ended up having to go into the city to get these. I also need some more black nail varnish, so I got the Barry M Jelly High Shine Nail Paint, and this is in Black Forest. And I've actually got this on my nails now, and it's really, really pretty. And it's like a good black. The other one I had before was like really thin, and this one you'd have to use as thick layers. Next, I got the Maybelline the Graffiti Nudes. At this point, honestly, I don't really <laughs> use these, I've just like started collecting them. Um, I've got all the other palettes, so and I didn't even know that they'd come out with a new one. But this one is actually really, really pretty. It's got some blues and some greens and some purples. Um, and most of them are actually shimmery colours apart from the black. So, I mean, this isn't like an everyday kind of palette. Then I got the Barry M Liquid Chrome Highlighter Drops. Um, this one is in Beam Me Up. And this is so beautiful. It's such a pretty... I don't know if you can really see it very well, but it's so pretty. The minute I swatched it, I was like, yep, got to have it straight in my basket. I'm most likely to do a testing video at some point with the makeup that I got because it's all new makeup that I haven't actually ever tried before. So keep an eye out for that. That might take another month. Next, I got the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. I've wanted to get this for so long, but... Every time I went into a super drug, they didn't have my shade. And even now, they didn't really have the right shade for me, so I had to go lighter. And since it's a full coverage concealer, actually, I would have gone lighter anyway because for highlighting and everything, um, for a more glam look. I got this one in C8.5, and again, I'm really, really excited to try this one. Next, I got the Revolution Pro. What is this again? Pro Supreme Matte Lip pigment and this is in the shade affection this is just like a really nice warm brown i can get it out and i'm super excited to try this as well to be honest i haven't actually worn makeup in a long time but i still love buying it the packaging looks really really nice like it's super sleek and simple and like classy and elegant then I got uh, the iHeart Revolution Goddess of Faith Triple Baked Highlighter. I've already got three of these. Um, I think this is the only one I don't have. Maybe. Um, and this one is just in the shade Goddess of Faith. And this is beautiful. It's like a really nice... It looks pink when you like look straight at it. But it has more of a goldy sort of tone to it and lastly i got the revolutions most of this is revolution i just realized i got the revolution flawless foils um kit i'm not entirely sure what this is but it looked really cool so i picked it up um this is in the shade unicorn foil so it says contains flawless foil metallic eyeshadow and intensifying primer I'm guessing i might do a testing video on this but I'm guessing you probably have to, I mean this is a liquid though, so do you like drop it on the, do you drop it on the eyeshadow and then do it, or do you wet your brush with it? I don't know, but uh, the eyeshadow looks really pretty, and I'll most likely, like I said, do a testing video, just to see if it would actually work, but this is just like a really pretty, white duochrome eyeshadow so or eye foil i should say so 
so yeah I'm really excited to try that as well next I think I'll do Asda I'll do Asda yeah so the first thing that I got were some Nivea cream this is my favourite moisturiser I use this like it's going to be the end of the world <laughs> I love this one so much and I use so much of it um, but for some reason only some shops do this specific one and I don't know why so I picked up two of these because they'll be gone with the next like two months I also got a pair of eyelash I did have I also got a pair of eyelashes these are the Allure accents I had these before and they were so nice they're so natural and I wore them once on a night out with my friends came home took them off I wasn't even drunk and I can't find them I have no idea where they've gone I can't remember where I put them so I just ended up buying some more because it's been a month and I still haven't found them I got three DVDs first one I got the Purge um, movie collection because I absolutely love the Purge series whatever you want to call it um, I've watched all four of them but I only have the election year on DVD so I got the first one and the second one and obviously the third one and when the, the fourth one comes out I will get that as well two DVDs I got were ones that I want to see in the cinema but never actually got around to seeing them so the first one is Truth or Dare um, I think I'll probably just insert a short bit of the trailer because I'm really bad at explaining movies What are your intentions with our sweet Olivia? I needed to find someone with friends that I could trick into coming here I could tell Olivia was an easy target I brought you all up here because I'm okay with strangers dying if it means I get to live. What the hell? The game's real. Okay, wherever you go, whatever you do, it'll find you. And then I also got blockers um, because this looked really, really good as well. Again, I'll just put a trailer in as well. Blockers. Just going through the laundry. Found these new thongs. You know I love it when the music stops, but come and strip that down for me. Tonight, I'm tearing these off with my teeth like an old school cartoon billy goat. Yeah. Honey, Mitch, those are your daughters. Run, run, run! I'm ready. You look beautiful. I used to hold that girl in the palm of my hand. Kayla's becoming a woman. You're gonna have to deal with that. Thanks, I was looking for that. Next things, or the next shop, I guess, um, is Beauty Bay. First thing I got was the Skin and Tonic London Naked Lip Balm. This is actually amazing. I'd never tried this before, and I saw it, and it had really, really good reviews, and it is amazing. I highly recommend this. I'll link it down below. Then I've got this uh, Pure Essence Mask Sheet, this is in Pearl, um, this had so many good reviews and also it's a Korean uh, skin product so I'm guessing it's going to be amazing, I've never tried anything like this before, um, well, I've tried a sheet mask before but I haven't tried like anything from this brand I should say before so I'm really excited to try this, feels like there's a lot of stuff in here though which I hate so hopefully it won't be too soggy next thing I got was the Yes2 Coconut Ultra bleh, Ultra Hydrating Super Eye Mask or just an Energizer Coffee Eye Mask this looks really really good and again I can't wait to try this my eyes like under my eyes and on my eyelids have been really dry recently so I'm hoping this might bring a little bit of hydration to them and bring them back to life <laughs> the last thing I got was the House of Lashes I think these are the single um, individual eyelashes I've never tried individual eyelashes before and I really want to try it because I don't really wear a lot of makeup now um, I only really sometimes wear mascara or eyelashes um, depending on what my skin is like mostly to be honest um, and I just really wanted to try individual eyelashes because they look a lot more like not as in your face 
as strip lashes sometimes hence why I did also pick up these alert ones the last place I have to show you are things that I got from home bargains honestly it's mostly candles apart from one thing um, which I'll show you that first I picked up this gold alphabet necklace which is just the letter B I'd seen this in here what? <laughs> I'd seen this in there um, so many times and it was the last one there for so long um, and it finally got to the point where when I saw it I was like do you know what I'm just going to get it. The next thing I got, I'll show you this little candle first, I got the Wickford & Co, I got three of their candles, um, this is just the small one and this is called Wedding Day, this one smells amazing, it smells like cotton, yeah like cotton candles and also slightly floral but not like in your face floral so so good next candle i got was another whitford and go and this is called halloween this just smells like sweets to me i bought two of these um and one i've literally burned like halfway down already but this smells amazing the next candle is again Whitford & Co and this is called Warm Apple & Cinnamon. This is just a go-to candle for me every year. I buy a new one of these because I just love Warm Apple & Cinnamon candles. They're just amazing. Like the first time I smelt one it was just a life changer for me. The last candle I bought was... I don't actually know what this scent is. It's just like a multi-coloured, you can't even see it like a multicoloured candle um, and this one smells a little bit like fabric softener and sweets it smells amazing and this is probably going to go very quickly I'm growing my candle collection again because I burnt so many down at the beginning of the year that I had no left no what I had none left um, so I'm gradually building it up again I might do an updated candle collection video actually. I haven't done one of them for a good two. I think the last one was like 2016, something like that. Anyway, rambling. <laughs> so that's everything that I've bought the past month. Um, that I think you'd be interested in seeing. I've got some like rapid food <laughs> down here that I've bought for them, but I doubt you'd want to see that. Um, but yes, now that's the haul part done. I guess I shall show you my tattoos. So the first one I have, you know, I've got a massive cut on my hand from work, <laughs> but I basically got my first tattoo touched up because it was fading really badly, obviously because it's a hand tattoo, um, so I got that touched up and the tattoo studio I go to is the Cold Iron Tattoo Company. I will leave any links to them down below. It's such a good such a good studio uh oh yeah <laughs> my next one i got you can't really see it the next one i got was this one this is just an outline of jamaica because obviously i am half jamaican so i wanted to have something there to kind of represent other half of my family um yeah it's very simple but very nice and i honestly keep forgetting that i've got it there until I'm like oh yeah what's that and lastly I got a lip tattoo that's actually lasted I think this is two weeks now since I got it um, and I've only lost like a couple like two sides of it um, I really wanted to get a lip tattoo purely because I just wanted to see what it feels like turns out it doesn't actually hurt that bad at all like I couldn't even feel it um, and I just thought it'd be really cool and it really is and I really love it. <laughs> and show you it. I don't know if you can see it. I might have to get in closer. Yeah, so oh yeah, you can kind of see it. It's kind of faded a bit. If I can zoom in. Oh great focus. So yeah, that's the haul that I've been trying to film for a month. If you've been following me on Twitter and Instagram, I've been given updates there on how stressful it is. Um, but yes, yeah, so my haul and my tattoos. And yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up 
and subscribe and I shall see you in my next video. Bye!